So in this problem, we need to resolve the given rational fraction into partial fractions. So let us begin. Now, if we observe the given rational fraction, which is given by x squared minus x plus 1, this is the numerator part, divided by the denominator. Now in the denominator, it consists of three factors. One of the factors is x minus 1. Then we have the other factor, x squared plus 1. And again, x squared plus 1 is repeating. So there are three factors, which means this particular rational fraction can be resolved into three partial fractions. So we can specify that the first rational fraction is going to have the form a over x minus 1. Then the next rational fraction will be the one with the denominator x squared plus 1. So since it's a quadratic factor, so its numerator is going to be bx plus c. And then we'll have one more partial factor uh, fraction whose denominator is the factor x plus 1 that's repeating twice, which x squared plus 1 also being a quadratic factor. So its denominator is going to be of the form dx plus e. Now we'll have to obtain the value of a, b, d, c, a, b, c, d, and e. And in, after finding out this value, we'll plug it this into We'll plug in this value back in equation number one to get the required partial fraction. So let us begin. So here our goal will be to first take equation number one, which I've chosen right now, and multiply both sides with x minus one times x squared plus one whole squared. Once we do that, then on the left hand side, we're left with x squared minus x plus one. Then on the right hand side, we are left with x squared plus one whole squared times a. Plus we have x minus 1 multiplied to x squared plus 1 multiplied to bx plus c. Then we have x minus 1 multiplied to dx plus e. So what we'll do next is expand all the terms on the right hand side and combine only the like terms. So I'll state the final result where we have x raised to the power of 4. So it's going to have a coefficient of a plus b followed by the x cube. So this is going to have a coefficient of negative b plus c. Then we have x squared. And its coefficient is going to be 2a plus b minus c plus d. Followed by we have x with coefficient minus b plus c minus d plus e. And then finally, we have the constant term. So that's going to be positive a minus c minus f. Now, clearly, we observe here that there are five terms on the right hand side. First term contains x raised to the power of 4. Second term contains x cubed. Third term contains x squared. Fourth term contains x. And the fifth term, that's a minus c e minus f, which is nothing but the constant term. Whereas on the left hand side, we only have three terms. We need two more terms. And the term containing x raised to the power of 4 and x cubed. Since it's not present there, what we'll do? We are going to rewrite it as 0 times x raised to the power of 4, added to 0 times x cubed. And then the rest of the term, which is x squared minus x plus 1. So now we have five terms on the left hand side as well. What we'll do next will be comparing and equating both sides such that we get a plus b. This is the coefficient of x raised to the power of 4 on the right hand side. This is going to be equals to coefficient of x raised to the power of 4 on the left hand side. So that's 0. So we have a plus b equals to 0. That gives us the second equation. Then we will compute and equate the coefficient of x cubed on the right hand side with the coefficient of x cubed on the left hand side. So negative b plus c will be equals to 0. That's equation number 3. Coming to coefficient of x squared, so we have 2a plus b minus c plus d. So this will be equals to positive 1. Since coefficient of x squared on the left hand side is 1. This is going to be equation number 4. Then we're going to get the fifth equation, which is negative b plus c minus d plus a. That's the coefficient of x on the right hand side. And this is going to be equals to negative 1. So this is going to be equation number 5. And then we have the constant term, which is a minus c minus f. This is going to be equals to positive 1. And that's going to give us the sixth equation. So now we have five unknowns and we have five equations starting from 2 up to 6. We can solve these five equations to obtain the value of a, b, c, d, and e, which I'm leaving as an exercise for you. So I'm going to state the values here. So a value comes out to be 1 quarters. Then we have our b value. So b value comes out to be equals to 
negative one quarters c value is going to be negative one quarters d value is going to be half and e value is going to be equals to negative half so what we'll do we'll substitute these values back in equation number one let's do that so we have one over four that's the value of a divided by x minus one plus bx so b is negative one over four x plus c value so that's negative one over four divided by x squared plus one then we have dx so that's half of x minus half r minus half is the value of e divided by x squared plus one whole squared so finally we have expressed our original function rational fraction x squared minus x plus one divided by x minus one multiplied to x squared plus one whole squared into three partial fractions the first one will be one over four times x minus one the next one will be negative x plus one negative of x plus one divided by four times x squared plus one and then we have plus x minus one divided by two times x squared plus one whole squared 